Hi everyone, it's Dr. Keenan, and I wanted to start today by reviewing my day one of Prolo fasting with food. So how did things go for me yesterday? So I started out with the butternut squash soup, and along with that I had the kale crackers, and then I had one of the L bars. That was my lunch yesterday. Very, very tasty. Oh, and I had some olives along with it too. This is my kind of food. I typically eat Mediterranean, so this was really just up my alley. And then along with that, I had the NR1, which is the vitamin supplement, and then I took the alga oil, which is the omega-3 supplement, and I just took all those at the same time. And I was constantly sipping on water and everything throughout the day. And then um, I didn't really have an afternoon snack, so then it was time for my evening supper. Uh, and for dinner, I had the black bean soup, and then I had another L bar. That would have been my afternoon snack. And honestly, I was really, really uh, feeling good at that point, and I didn't feel that I needed any more food. But the packet does come with another L bar, which is called the Choco Crisp Bar, which sounds like a Rice Krispie bar with chocolate. Um, I didn't have that. Uh, again, I'm very familiar with intermittent fasting and a ketogenic diet, and so I held off on that one. So overall, the day went really well for me. There were two packets of tea, there was a spearmint, and then there was a lemon ginger. Uh, very, very tasty. Uh, I love um, filling up on teas, and actually I turned those into a cold or an iced tea because it's quite hot at the moment, and I didn't feel that I needed that extra. Um, my body's feeling really good. I did go to the gym on day one, and for me, I do a CrossFit workout. So as the week goes on, I'll just kind of mellow those down a little bit. But generally, when you start on the Prolon, fast with food, a diet, we really don't recommend a lot of exercise. Gentle walking, especially if your body's not ready for it. Uh, again, most people have met with me to discuss what they're going to be doing on the program, and then we can kind of design a customized plan for those that are going to be following the program. So that was it for day one. Now, we'll move on to day two. So I'm pretty excited for today. So today, uh, things kind of dial down a little bit. So for the next four days, I'll be following about 800 calories a day. So I'll let you see what's on the menu. So first thing we have is a, um, so for breakfast, um, a nut bar. Now for me, again, I typically intermittent fast, so I'm just having this nut bar again with my lunch. So a nut, lovely nut bar. And by the way, these things are absolutely delicious. Like, I would eat this if I wasn't even on the program. It's full of macadamias, pecans, almonds, almond butter, just absolutely tasty. But today for lunch, I'll be having the nut bar with a tomato soup mix, and then I get another packet of olives for lunch. And then my afternoon snack, if I want to have that. Uh, again, I have my vitamin supplement. There's some packages of tea for today. We've got a hibiscus tea, which I know I will ice because I've iced hibiscus tea before and it's absolutely delicious. And then a packet of garlicky type of olives. So i um, looking forward to these because I absolutely love olives. And then for my dinner and my supper this evening, I've got butternut squash soup. And tonight, I believe I will be having my little uh, proprietary Choco Crisp Bar. So looking forward to that. But the difference now going forward uh, from day two to five, in addition to the calories coming down, is that you do add a drink uh, to what you'll be having and consuming throughout the day. So the drink is this. So um, it's orange flavored and it's a glycerol mix. So glycerol, it's a, a vegetable-based source, and what it does, it allows water to bind and to attract to that. So one of the reasons that you do it is because as you start to fast, of course, the worry is that you will become a bit dehydrated. Um, so glycerol binds water, and also it can help us because it has a slight laxative effect. So the way that the glycerol works, it's dosed based on your weight. So on the side of the bottle, you can see it's got your number of pounds, and then that's how much you would pour out into the larger bottle container and then you sip on you fill it up with water and then you sip on that throughout the day and I believe there's 32 um, ounces here so this is basically four cups or one liter so I'll be getting that ready and I will sip on it throughout the day so um, that's it for day two and I'll see you soon bye for now